Welcome to the installation video for the 5PD pull-down shelf. Before we begin, you'll need the following tools. A power drill with a number two Phillips bit, a 3 32nd inch bit, and a quarter inch bit. A number two Phillips screwdriver. A 7 16th inch wrench. Tape measure. Bubble level. And a pencil. In your box, you'll find the following parts. The 5PD series comes in two sizes with wired or solid bottom shelves, base brackets, side frames, a handle, and synchronizer bar. You will also find the following fittings. One quarter by one and a quarter inch bolts, cap nuts, washers, M5 by 12 millimeter pan head screws, wood screws, M4 by 6 millimeter screws, M5 by 12 millimeter flat head screws, and logo covers. The 5PD pull down shelf is designed to accommodate a range of cabinet widths. Installation is the same for both 24 and 36 inch models. If you prefer to side mount, skip this step. To bottom mount, measure two and an eighth inches from the front edge of the cabinet to the center of the first hole. For face frame applications such as ours, you may need to leave a slight gap between the side wall and the bottom bracket in order for the front screws to clear the face frame. We will cover this step momentarily. For frameless applications, the measurements are the same However, place the bottom bracket flush against the side wall. For heavy applications, it is recommended to add the one quarter by one and a quarter inch bolts up through the cabinet floor. Measure three and three eighths of an inch from the edge of the face frame to the center of the oblong hole. From that point, measure three and 25 30 seconds to the next hole. Transfer those dimensions to the bottom of the cabinet and pre-drill with your quarter inch bit. Drill the bolts through the bottom of the cabinet. Use your 7 16th inch wrench to secure the bracket with the washers and cap nuts. Now pre-drill the pilot holes with the 3 32nd inch bit. Secure the base brackets even further using the wood screws. Repeats on the other side. For side mounting, place the base bracket at a minimum one half inch up from the cabinet floor. Measure two inches back from the front edge of the cabinet to the center of the first hole. A scab board may be required when side mounting in a face frame cabinet. It depends upon your face frame width and hinge style. Ensure the bracket is level and mark five side holes with your pencil. Pre-drill the pilot holes with the 3 32nd inch bit and secure using the wood screws. For side mounting in a frameless cabinet, mount the bracket flush against the side wall. Next, attach the baskets to the side frames using the M4 by six millimeter screws. Secure the handle to the side frames using the M5 by 12 millimeter pan head screws. The screws may already be attached to the side brackets and handle. Mount the assembly to the base brackets. The back of each side frame should engage with the back of each base bracket. Once in place, secure with the M4 by six millimeter screws. Attach the logo covers to the front frame assembly to conceal the screws. Attach the synchronizer bar to the rear frame arms by tilting the bar at an angle and sliding it down the main body from front to back. 
Secure in place using the M5 by 12 millimeter flathead screws. Your installation is now complete. Enjoy your product for years to come.